Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you Zener Dad in great details. Let me show you outlines of this video first. See here, first I'll be covering basics of Zener Dad. After that, I'll explain characteristics of Zener Dad. Then after, I'll explain you comparison of Zener Dad with Avalanche Dad. At last, I'll be discussing about advantages, disadvantages and applications of Zener Dad. So let us begin this video with first agenda that is basics of Zener Dad. See when it comes to basics of Zener Dad, then one should know Zener Dad is normal PN junction diode only. Here there is a basic difference in its fabrication. See here this P type and N type material that is heavily doped compared to normal PN junction diode. So when you fabricate Zener Dad. At that time, Zener diode is having higher doping concentration compared to normal PN junction diode. And as doping concentration is high, there are few essential things that is happening. See, as if you have higher doping concentration with P type and N type material, then at PN junction, depletion region width that will get narrowed. See here there is a relation of depletion region width with doping concentration of PN junction. If you have lower doping concentration then that PN junction depletion region width will be broad. But if you have higher doping concentration with P type and N type material then depletion region width that is getting narrowed. You will be having thin depletion region width. So as doping concentration is higher with Zener diode width of depletion region is narrow at PN junction of Zener diode. See Zener diode works similar to PN junction diode in forward bias. But in reverse bias there are so many applications with Zener diode like we can use Zener diode as a voltage regulator. So Zener diode works similar to avalanche PN junction diode in forward bias. But Zener diode is also useful in reverse pass. We can use it as a voltage regulator. If you see symbol of Zener diode, then you see it is two terminal device. This is anode, this is cathode. Here there is little modification in symbol of normal PN junction diode. You will be observing here we are providing bit edges over here. Right. So that is how basic symbol is there. Now let me explain you characteristics of Zener diode. See Zener diode works similar to normal PN junction diode in forward bias. So to keep Zener diode in forward bias, anode of Zener diode should be positive with respect to cathode. In forward bias, characteristic is similar to normal PN junction diode. So here I will not discuss about forward bias characteristic. But when it comes to Zener diode in reverse bias, there are some interesting facts that you should know. To keep Zener diode in reverse bias, anode should be negative with respect to cathode. Here, Zener breakdown voltage is lower compared to normal PN junction diode. Right. So, if you observe here, see, we are having breakdown voltage of Zener diode over here. This breakdown voltage of Zener diode, that is lower. Why? The reason is here, depletion region width is narrow and that is happening because of higher doping concentration right so zener diode breakdown is happening at lower voltage right and one more thing that you need to keep in your mind see this breakdown curve of zener diode that is very sharp this breakdown curve over here with zener diode that is very sharp so after breakdown Voltage will remain constant that will be Vz only. After breakdown voltage will remain constant and high current flow in Zener diode. So in reverse pass we use Zener diode as a voltage regulator. The reason is after breakdown voltage across Zener diode that will remain constant. And this is Zener voltage and that is also referred as Zener knee voltage. Right. So there are two things that you need to note down here. One is Zener voltage breakdown is happening at lower voltage and second is this curve of breakdown is very sharp right 
these are the two differences which is happening because of which we use zener diode as a voltage regulator in reverse bias in forward bias characteristic is similar to normal pn junction diode right now i'll compare zener diode with avalanche pn junction diode based on different parameters so one should know the symbol right symbol of avalanche pn junction diode and symbol of zener diode see doping concentration of zener diode that is very high doping concentration of avalanche diode is lightly doped right see depletion region of zener diode is very thin why the reason is here doping concentration is high while depletion region width is broader over here with avalanche diode compared to zener diode right see reverse breakdown that is happening very sharp in zener diode while it is less sharp compared to zener diode with avalanche diode right see reverse breakdown voltage that is also lower over here with zener diode while reverse breakdown voltage that is higher with avalanche diode usually when we use avalanche diode at that time we want avalanche diode not to get breakdown in reverse bias right that's why we keep avalanche diode breakdown voltage in reverse bias with very high value and that one can have it with lower doping concentration with zener diode we are having higher doping concentration that's why lower breakdown is happening in reverse bias right see temperature effect that is different over here with zener and avalanche let me explain that see with zener diode lower breakdown voltage happens with increase in temperature means here breakdown voltage decreases with increase in temperature that's why one can say with zener we have negative temperature coefficient while with avalanche diode higher breakdown voltage happens with increase in temperature means we have positive temperature coefficient with avalanche diode right and when we talk about applications then zener diode is having so many applications like one can use zener diode as a voltage regulator in reverse bias while avalanche diode that we use it in so many applications like rectifier clipper clamper right and usually we operate this avalanche diode in forward bias applications right so that is how basic comparison is there in between zener and avalanche diode now i'll be discussing about advantages first see zener diode is less expensive and usually we use zener diode in small electronic circuits see normal pn junction diode that we use it in higher power electronics like we can use pn junction diode in rectifier circuit right but when it comes to zener diode we use it for low power electronic circuits it is less expensive it is smaller in size we can use it in smaller circuit with low power configuration and it gives protection against over voltage in reverse bias but remember this see we use this for electronic circuit where we operate circuits with lower power right see when it comes to disadvantages then one should know zener diode is having limited power ratings we don't use zener diode for high power ratings right and it is having lower efficiency in forward bias see when you keep zener diode in forward bias there is always voltage drop of 0.6 to 0.7 in case of silicon zener diode right so it is having lower efficiency in terms of power consumption that one can say right when it comes to applications there are so many applications with zener diode as i have told you we can use that as voltage regulator in reverse bias we can use it for surge compressor normal switching applications are also there as it is there with pn junction diode we can use that in clipper circuits as well to clip the waveform right so there are so many applications usually we use zener diode in reverse bias for voltage regulation so in next video i'll explain you zener diode as a voltage regulator where i'll explain you parameters of voltage regulator circuits as well as i'll solve few interesting examples if any questions are there please post it over here in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video